So I'm going to talk about Adventure Time Distant Lands and the Together Again episode. This is, of course, bringing back Finn and Jake. It is kind of the first of the three specials to bring back, even though they brought back major characters. Uh, Finn and Jake were obviously, for the most part, the main <laughs> characters of Adventure Time. And um, it's, I guess, a bittersweet special because as much as it's nice to see Finn and Jake again, uh, they're in the afterlife and Finn after he has uh, presumably died we don't I don't think we find out how uh, is looking for Jake and there's various things that happen through it I kind of find this hard to talk about without spoiling it so if you really haven't watched it uh, maybe don't watch the rest of this but um, I will say it's very good so if you need a recommendation and you like Adventure Time I think you'll like this um, and it is not really as good as I think the season finale or even attempting to um, and I often, well, I guess I'll say a few other things. I, of, I also wonder um, how much Pendleton Ward, this feels m much more like uh, Midnight gospel -y than, uh, or his ideas of, you know, reincarnation and the afterlife and things like that are very much in this special. From my understanding on the credits, everything I read, it doesn't sound like Pendleton, Ward's, or Pendleton Ward is really involved uh, that much, but... Um, kind of that idea that we got from those. Um, so I guess the rest I'll get into more specifics. Um, so if you don't want to watch the rest or want to get spoiled, you can you can tune out right now. But in it, uh, Finn and Jake do meet up and they have to stop Death, who the new guy who is Death, um, who is his, who's his son, has been doing, uh, basically is going to stop reincarnation, do all these changes to the afterlife, and Finn and Jake have to stop that and through that we see their final i guess kind of adventure because they will then after all this go and be reincarnated in some ways what i found interesting about this special was that you get the end of those characters but in other ways it takes the whole idea that you hate in hollywood movies or at least i hate where it's like everything is they were destined to be together or some crap and they're not just you know two buds on an adventure and as much as Finn and Jake are very much two buds on an adventure the destiny thing like actually sort of worked for me in this and I like the idea of like they do want to be reincarnated together and they do want Finn, Finn to uh, be able to achieve like further uh, levels in the afterlife and all these things about this special that I thought most of the time really annoy me and I actually really liked I liked all the you know the fan service cameos and the way they use the afterlife it's actually pretty creative and and i like seeing like tiffany and um all those things that i think really showed how progressive and how weird and how strange adventure time could be and even with it at its peak i don't think this is like a standout amazing episode of distant lands i might like the bemo one more but i think this one as a fan of the show and as someone who's watched it from the very beginning i think it's one that reminded me of why i liked it so much it reminded me of what was so special about the show it also reminded me what i liked about those two together and i kind of almost as much as i want the show to sort of move on one of the things these specials do is they get into how much more of that world we could see how much more of this world i would like to see i'm a little confused if distance land has just three specials or four that seems to be a little confusing but i i would keep watching specials of adventure time every now and then and having finn and jake show up every couple years even if it's something like this or see what happened to finn after jake died because he was supposed to have died first and everything like that this was very uh i think heartwarming and kind of showed you how special their sort of relationship was especially for everyone in the land of ooh and even seeing someone like the lich come back and everything like that it was a big fan servicey moment and i guess i should roll my eyes at it to a certain degree but I thought it was like handled very well and as much as like I think the problem with Destiny stuff in most media is it talks about like kind of the importance of their friendship and everything they accomplished but in a lot of ways what was great about this is it did not do that it reminded me of their relationship and what was so special about them and everyone you know from tree trunks to there's like so many characters referenced in this that they made impacts on but it reminded you of past adventures but didn't hit you over the head with it they didn't do clip shows or anything like that it just reminds you of their relationship and what you fell in love with what a lot of people fell in love with adventure time was not just the humor and the randomness and how absurd and surreal it was it also reminds you of how special and awesome that relationship was and why you fell in love with finn and jake which i think is why this special 
worked out uh, so well, actually. I, I really liked it. I've liked all of Distant Lands. I hope we get more Adventure Time type specials because it shows me, like, revisiting in this way feels like um, the franchise has gotten kind of a new life to it. And this is the kind of thing that's, like, fine for once in a while. Um, I kind of liked revisiting them, and I liked... I always liked the Finn and Jake relationship and it reminded me why I like that so much and it did feel like almost, co almost cosmically, yeah, they should be together because you have such a good time of them being together. Not that it's a destiny because they always saw, w save the day, it's because it's so much fun watching them and their charisma together and they've always had, those characters have always had great chemistry and it's just fun watching them be able to save the day and save the afterlife again. I think if you're an Adventure Time fan, it's just a nice special to watch and then you, um, walk away from it, you know, feeling good about the franchise and feeling good about it. However, Finn and Jake are reincarnated in the future and are kind of hopeful for everything their friendship achieved and what it could be going forward.